in editor playback. The in editor playback function is a useful tool for watching the scenario you've created playback in real time or at an increased rate. I usually use 10 times speed to see if the scenario is working as expected. I will now show this function off in the simulator. First and foremost, we'll need to be on the playback window screen. To ensure we can see this, we click on window and select playback. I already have this window set where I want, next to the timetable window. You can place it wherever you choose. You can even have it on a separate monitor. In the playback window, we can clearly see the player train, the formation it is coupling to, and the static formation I have placed in one of the bays on the upside. On the screen below it, we have a small screen that shows the services in the timetable. In our case, we only have one. Below that is the controls, which are jump to start, step backwards, pause and play, step forwards, and jump to end. The white box with the 10 below that is the playback speed option. This is where we set the speed at which the playback in the 2D map will play. As mentioned before, I tend to run this at 10 times speed. Let's click play and see what happens. As you can see, the train moved to the carriages as I wanted, but stopped short before coupling. It then moved back and coupled, and waited again before proceeding out from the bay, which we'll watch now. It's waiting, and now it's pulling out from the bay. My simulation shows the train going a bit too far out past the signal protecting Minehead station. So we will need to change that. The simulation also has the train stopping at the London end of the Minehead Up platform. Here. I actually want it to stop down towards the head shunt. So that will need to be corrected in the timetable as well. And if we continue the playback, it waits, decouples, waits again. moves forward, past the shunt signal, and then it's shown back in to the uh, bay where it waits, and the service will end after, a wait, after the period we set. Now I've set this far too high. So after this tutorial, I'm actually gonna go and correct the mistakes I've seen on this 2D playback. This playback helps us to better understand what is going on in the simulator and to also spot any errors we may have, such as the ones I've pointed out. This ends the tutorial on playback.